This week is National Insect Week, and it's the publication of my new picture book, Rex the Rhinoceros Beetle. So to celebrate, I took the family for a bug hunt. Can you hear those blackbirds singing? I think I've spotted our first beetle. We have to be very careful because it's on the nettles, but can you see down there, a ladybird is a beetle. What is it a ladybird? That's the larva of a ladybird. It's so a weird skin. alien looking thing. So a, skin, so a skin of a ladybird. Well, almost. It's like a baby of a ladybird that's going to grow into a fully grown normal ladybird adult beetle, the Imago, which is what you see flying around. But the baby. Did you know a tadpole's turn into frogs? And that's exactly like the larva turning into a beetle. It's exactly the same. Yeah. That's what they call a metamorphosis, a change of shape. Great. Well, um, oh, look, well, there's another one. Can you count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's all about the number of spots with ladybirds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It depends on what colour their shell is. It's not a shell. A, a beetle has an exoskeleton. It's not like a snail that has a shell. And what looks like a shell is actually a pair of wings, because of course we all know that ladybirds can fly. No, no, we found ladybirds. Let's look for other beetles. That's a good idea, right? It's an ant type of beetle. No, an ant is a different type of insect, but it is an insect because it has six legs. For a second, I want to catch a cricket. Yeah. Whoa! <gasps> look! Oh my God! What is that? Whoa! It's a caterpillar. Look at him! Oh, and look, a little green... Oh, he's gone. <gasps> look at that caterpillar. Is that a beetle? No, he's going to grow into a beautiful butterfly. Isn't he cool? Is he... Is he bifish? No, of course not. If you want, you can put him in your pot. Great. And have yes. a look at him nice close up before we set him back out into the wild again. That's amazing. Look, Seppi. Let's give him some leaf. We all, we all know that um, caterpillars love leaves. Anything? You have a look. I, I may have catched a golden spider. Oh, a poo. What kind of poo do you think it is? Oh, that looks like cow poo to me. Some beetles do like cow pat, but they like it fresh and that's a bit old and dry. Rabbit poo! That does look like rabbit droppings. And that does look like the kind of place where a beetle would like to live. Be careful, you could be sitting on cow. Oh, uh, sitting on poo? Yeah. That's the danger of the bug hunt. But, well, look, there's lots of trees around here. Let's search through every tree to see if you can find every beetle. Two different types of butterflies. Yeah. <laughs> and some ladybirds. Some so at ladybirds. least we have legitimately found beetles. We found a beetle. I want more though. I want a thick legged flower beetle and I want a soldier beetle. It'd be least. nice to find a stag. Yeah. I spend my life looking for stag beetles. <laughs> you have to be very lucky to see one. Look, can you see him down there? Oh, yeah. A soldier beetle. Out he comes. Oh, look at all those soldier beetles. Ah, oh, gosh. On that cow parsley. Do you remember I said about the cow parsley? Yeah. There's loads of them. This time of year, it's very difficult not to see soldier beetles, to be honest. Sometimes you just don't know what you're looking at. These two are having a lot of fun on a thistle. Ah! Grasshopper! <laughs> Look at his face. What's the biggest thing? That's probably a daddy. You think that's a daddy? 
And there was me trying to video that beautiful red moth underneath. <laughs> oh, red moth, red moth. Ah, ah. red moth below camera. <laughs> Grasshopper on camera. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> uh, What's that? No idea. <laughs> Wow. wow, he jumped jump. a meter. Can <laughs> you see that? <laughs> he was cool. And you wanted to see a grasshopper, didn't you? Right at the beginning, you were trying to catch one. And you're super net. Oh, stop. That's why it's It is a grasshopper. Oh, look. Fantastic, Sibby. There it is. Good job. It's very beautiful. Lucky I catched him. It is lucky that you catched him. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't know. Probably a beetle. No, that was a fly. There he goes. To the forest? Yes, to the forest. Every year I hunt for stag beetles in these woods and sometimes I hear them because they're quite noisy flyers but I have not yet been lucky enough to spot one. Perhaps today will be my lucky day or perhaps once again I'll be thwarted. It's a bumblebee digging its way into the ground. Don't sting yourself. I'm not going to sting myself. It's this big bum wiggling. It's a bumblebee. <laughs> Lovely little hoverflies going about their business. Absolutely harmless things. I've got the stripes of a wasp and sometimes, particularly children, panic when they see them. But they are completely harmless. There he is. Hey, Mr. Cardinal Beetle. Hello. He gets his name because his red exoskeleton is like the robes of a bishop. Look at these caterpillars. Oh, yeah, look at them. Can you see them flickery dickering? Where's the they're not oh yeah. Can you see them? Oh cool. Are they slippery? Did they leave a slimy trail like a like a snail? No. So if you're wondering what to do on a beautiful sunny day, why not go for a bug hunt? As you can see, it's just as delightful and educational as going to the zoo, except it's free. And all you really need is a field guide and a sweeping net. It's my idea of a heavenly afternoon. Who wouldn't want to go for a bug hunt? <laughs>